Hey guys, my name is Scopey and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to delete cores from RetroArch. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So for today's video, sadly, you can't actually do this inside RetroArch. So coming to the load core option here will only show us the cores we have actually downloaded. There is no way that I have found to actually delete cores from inside the app, which I find really stupid. However, today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get around this. So what we can actually do is simply close down RetroArch. We're going to be coming up to our Windows taskbar here. We're going to be clicking on the Windows icon and we're going to be searching for RetroArch. Once RetroArch opens up, we're going to see the app right here. But below it, we'll also see the app section right here. We should also see the RetroArch data folder which is going to contain all of the files for our RetroArch application. If we select this open, it should open up a folder for our RetroArch install. And here we should see all the files and assets associated with our RetroArch. From this point, what we're going to be doing is coming here to the folder and we're going to be looking for the course folder right here. If we double click to select this open, we should see a list of all currently downloaded course inside our RetroArch. So from this point, you can pick and choose what course you would like to keep and what course you would like to remove. To remove a core, you simply select it, click delete and the core will be removed. For today's video what I'm going to be doing is removing all cores except one just so you can see that everything is removed except for this last Desmoom 2015 core. To remove them again simply highlight them and click delete and the core should be deleted. From this point we can come back to our search bar, search for RetroArch and open up the RetroArch application. We can wait for this to load up. We can click on the load core option and here we will see we only have one more core available. Of course you can come in here anytime and re-download the cores you deleted so it's not a bad thing to clean up every now and then just so you keep the cores you want and the ones that you're actually using regularly. Anyway guys it's as easy as that to delete cores from RetroArch on your PC. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.